Welcome back. You're watching HFO TV. Welcome back to HFO TV. I'm Greg Frick, partner at HFO Investment Real Estate. And we're lucky to here to have with us today, Steve Wilshire, Managing Director and President of AMF Capital. Thanks again for coming. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Uh, we've had a lot of clients that work with you guys over the years and uh, wanted to kind of get a background of, you know, how you got started, when you got into the business and kind of the background of AMF Capital. Uh, AMF Capital uh, started out uh, here in Oregon, based in Oregon in 2004. Okay. Uh, where our focus is commercial real estate financing and uh, primarily the product groups multifamily, uh, certainly commercial, industrial, retail, uh, and the like. And as far as our, our area of expertise, it's really focused on the, on the financing attributes. Got it. And are you, is it regional? Are you Oregon, Washington, Idaho? Or with financing, is it a little easier to kind of broader, broader swath of uh, geographical area? Kind of Most of our, our, our marketing efforts goes into the top four states, so Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana. Gotcha, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll certainly do transactions for our clients that are based in those local regions for other areas in the country. Okay, and is it in the kind of loans for, again, our audience is predominantly multifamily, they do some commercial. Is it is it agency debt, is it insurance, is it portfolio, kind of who the, you know, when they're coming to you from a lending standpoint, maybe we can talk a little bit where the money's coming from. And sure. Uh, a lot of times what we'll look at is what the goal is of the investor right. to make the determination which is the best debt, debt platform okay. to work with. Uh, as far as debt platforms are concerned, multifamily agency is certainly a predominant product, right. whether it's Fannie or Freddie or even HUD, which we're, we, have, we have expertise in all of those. In addition to that, we're also looking at life company platforms okay. as well as investment banks. Uh, commercial mortgage-backed securities in the Wall Street arena as well as an option depending on the on the, the project. We're not adverse to local product as well being banks and, and credit unions. So depending on the investment strategy, uh, it makes a difference. And what fits, what boxes they're going to fit into. And right. Long-term, short-term goals, yeah. Gotcha. You know, here's an interesting question. I get this asked a lot by people that have are kind of getting into the business. They always say, you know, why don't I just go directly to the lender? You know, what's Maybe you can just shine a little light because we'll say to them, no, it's good to have somebody on your side kind of representing you going to the various and looking for the various products that fit. Because when you go to one lender, they have their box, and if it doesn't fit, they may try to fight, fit you in, but is that really the best thing for you? Maybe you can shine some light on kind of the advantage of going to like a firm like yourself to help kind of expose the, you know, their need for financing? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of institutions have their box, as you mentioned. Right. When they have their box, you've got to fit within their box. If you don't, uh, then you're not qualified. As a brokerage firm, we are experienced in looking at a lot of different debt platforms, so it gives us an opportunity to really understand what we've got to work with and how we get to the end and deliver and execute based on their, okay. their goal. So when we look at those types of situations, every lender has different criteria that maybe the bank or the credit union or the local group that you're looking with, working with can't make that happen, but there's other solutions. So a big advantage for a brokerage firm is to understand m more areas that we can put those things together with. So we'll look at different areas, different companies, different platforms, still be able to achieve what they want, even if they aren't able to get it locally. Okay. And then on, in terms of multifamily, is that still, you know, the, the desired class of these lenders? Has that changed in terms of like multifamily here in this region? With, you know, we've had a little bit of softening with some of the new construction. I don't think sure. it's a long-term effect, but I think in the short term, we've had all this new construction. Kind of what's your take on that, or what's the lender's take on, you know, the Pacific Northwest from the multifamily investment side? Well, multifamily is always the, the most sought-after yeah. product. Uh, primarily, I think the industry believes it to be the lowest risk right. product. Uh, a lot of lending institutions gravitate to towards the lowest <laughs> risk. So if, uh, if multifamily is the lowest risk that day, then that's what they gravitate towards. Uh, every market has strong areas and weaker areas. So most lenders right now are focused on the predominant, uh, we call MSAs, uh, the metropolitan areas. Um, and there's still a strong desire for, for lending in that area. Um, and that goes with this state and amongst other states as well. Okay. So still a, a real strong product to finance. And are we looking at, are there, are there you know, the rates, kind of what do you, to your forecast, I mean, if we all could forecast rates, we probably wouldn't be here, but what do you see happening in rates for 19? I mean, we had a little jump in the 10 year, you know, fourth quarter of last year, it's back down, you know, below three. What do you see or what are you telling your clients who are looking for financing in the next, you know, three to six months, kind of what the outlook is? 
Uh, good, good question. Uh, difficult question to answer. Uh, you know, certainly there's a lot of influences on, on interest rates, um, some of it being uh, the Fed chair, some of it being the market demand, some right. of it being global uh, pressures that are going on right now. Uh, we believe rates will be going up. The question is, is when and how, how much they'll be going up. Uh, fundamentally, if, if a deal makes sense right now with the cost of debt, that's where you want to focus on today as opposed to looking at what it's going to do in the future. Um, we think rates will go up. Um, but the question is, is it, the Treasury market, which drives a lot of that right. today, uh, certainly has at least one, maybe two more adjustments to make this year. Uh, if they go up, what we're expecting and hoping is to stay competitive in the business that, uh, that the lending resources bring their spreads in right. to try and soften those increases. Um, so that's our expectation is that we will see a slight increase in treasury cost, the uh, but potentially a squeeze on the, on the margins. Oh, good. Well, that's good to hear. I'm going to like that. What, give you a little, you know, kind of what sets your firm apart from, you know, there's a mindery of people out there trying to do it. We'll kind of give the idea, the audience kind of an idea why, you know, YMF Capital will be a place to go. I know we've done a lot of deals together, but you know, want to share that with the audience as well. Yeah, uh, AMF Capital prides itself on at least understanding the project, yeah. uh, making sure that we're focused on delivery and execution, as opposed to just quoting a rate. Right. Quoting a great rate doesn't necessarily get you to the end. So understanding the dynamics of a project, and then as a firm, we've got depth of experience, you know, exceeding 50 years of experience collectively in, in all of our, our individuals in the, in the firm. And we take that approach and we take that experience and apply it to the transaction to make sure that it can deliver at the end, address any pitfalls or any hurdles that may have to be addressed early in the process as opposed to at the end, and, and manage all of the players and the processes throughout uh, the deal. Uh, on any given time, you know, we're managing 15 to 20 different people within a transaction. So transaction with all the different, yeah. all the different players third that come together, reports, all that third stuff. parties, titles, CPA, uh, legal counsel, you know, agencies, et cetera, underwriters, credit folks, bringing all those together so that everybody has the appropriate information and can deliver at the end based on the time frame that's needed on a sale or or restrictions on a, on a refinance. So our firm does that very well, uh, and, and we pride ourselves on making sure we do that well so that we can deliver and execute at the end. Well, I know our clients have been very happy with the service. I mean, it's, like I said, there's a lot of options out there, but you know, when you find one, as we always say, with a, from the lending standpoint, it surprises that, you know, hurt deals, you know, more they can discover on the front end as opposed to, like you said, getting a quote on a rate's not necessarily the, you know, the be all end all. It's going to, who can deliver on that and who can get the deal across the finish line. So I appreciate yes, working sir. with you through the well, years. We've enjoyed it. Thank you. Thanks. If you want to find out more information, you can go to the website below and we'll see you again next time on HFO TV. Thank you. Thanks for Thanks. having us. Our great. entire office specializes in multifamily real estate, making HFO the largest multifamily brokerage in the Pacific Northwest. Your success is our passion. Build your legacy with HFO. Call 503-241-5541 or visit our website at hfore.com for more information.